glory of Almighty Allah, we have, um, she has been able to stand on her own now um, through mentorship. She brings her work, we vet it together, and um, she's our own employer now, controlling uh, good clientele and good money as well. Um, so, um, generally, mentorship is very, very crucial, particularly in professions. Anywhere you find yourself, if you find yourself in a bank, you need a good mentor, a good example to yourself, somebody who has made progress in the profession. Um, if you uh, are in the medical profession, if you are in the legal profession, anywhere you find yourself, if you are in the media profession, you need mentors to show you, I mean, people who have walked the walk, who have suffered all the things to be suffered so that they can tell you when the time of your suffering comes you can know that you know, it is normal it will come it will go um, it is part of your learning it is part of the uh, rank that you get um, so mentorship is extremely crucial for progress in life and it is something that i believe we everybody we sh every part of society uh, should promote a lot more um, help young people because sometimes navigating life can be a bit um, difficult and if you find somebody who says yes I have been there there is a lot of relief that it brings to you when you know that you are not alone you are not suffering unduly it is part of uh, growing up so uh, that's that about that um, you also asked the question of the law being the last hope of the common man. Well, it has always been the last hope of the common man. It will continue to be the last hope of the common man. Of course, Allah is uh, the ult ultimate helper of all of us. But wrongs are done all the time between us. Misunderstandings happen. Um, I always tell people, I tell my colleagues, those of them, even those of them who are Christians, that if all of us can just follow the Quran and the Hadith of the Holy Prophet, wasalam, a lot of the conflicts that we go and solve in court will not be solving. Because mm. if everything we do, we write down, we have an agreement. Following that agreement will not be difficult. But I see quite a lot of things that we take to court start as a result of people not understanding what the uh, what their relationship is and what they want to achieve so when there is conflict there is no mechanism there is no 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 uh, no written document with which to judge the uh, the uh, conflict so i uh, always believe that the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. People get redress. Uh, fundamental rights are breached. Um, contractual terms are breached. Um, employ employer and employee uh, issues, issues of thoughts that is wrongdoing. Maybe somebody getting injured at work uh, or even on the road. Um, a lot of. So, if not the court, what will we do? Um, before the establishment of law, there is this thing we call that the uh, rights are established by might. That it, it is the stronger person that will always get their way. So in order for society to uh, protect the weaker person, that is why we have the law. Unfortunately, it has not always been so. But the peace of society, the progress of society would always depend on us pre uh, protecting everybody, um, both the weak and the strong. Um, so uh, I still believe firmly that uh, the court, the law, the judiciary is the last hope of the common man. Even though it has its own um, drawbacks, it has its own uh, problems, it has its own issues, but ultimately, 
it is still the uh, last hope. What else will we have? Will we have rule by uh, brute force? Are we going to be fighting to to settle scores? No, we cannot. All right, we won't be fighting to settle <laughs> scores. That is why the court is still the last hope of every masses. Whatever happens, we let's go to court. And like he has said, if we have allowed our creator, we have followed what the creator has said. Perhaps we might not have the cause to go to court to settle one thing or the other. Uh, uh, Barrister Bakari, there is something that is very rampant on the social media now. Bullying. What is the law? What is the stance of the law about this matter? Well, bullying is a, is a, is a terrible thing. Um, it happens uh, in school. Most, the most common place people talk about is school. But that's not all. It happens in workplaces, it happens at home, um, it happens in the market where uh, people just um, um, just intimidate the weaker person. And um, I, I have always believed that those who bully um, have a psychological problem themselves that needs to be solved. But well, that is not the question for today. Uh, if I may mention, I am an enthusiast of um, psychology and general, generally human behavior. So I understand, I have the firm belief that most people who bully have a psychological problem that needs to be solved themselves. Um, talking about cyberbullying, um, I, I believe that it is the, the social media, the internet, Generally, it's a good thing that has happened to us in the 21st century. But unfortunately, it has its own drawbacks. And it has evolved so, so rapidly that um, the way it is coming up, we are not solving the problems as frequently, I mean, as rapidly as the uh, sector is developing. So uh, we need to pay more attention. Parents need to know what their children are doing online. Um, parents need to know because the rate at which uh, children learn about social media, about the internet, uh, is so rapid, so very rapid that um, the parents have to find a way to catch up. Um, if you hand your phone to a two-year-old, you'll be shocked mm. at what they're able to do on your phone. Uh, you'll be shocked at the places they're able to go to that even you yourself that own the phone, that you have <laughs> never been having... Uh, held the phone for a year. The child holding that phone within five, ten minutes is able to do quite a lot. So, I mean, there are predators on the on the on the internet. There are people who have various kinds of psychological issues themselves, um, who who are looking for people to prey on, and um, yeah, people will be bullied on the internet. But everybody needs to speak up. Um, we have to create environments where people are able to speak up. This is what I'm going through. And we, uh, society has to also find a way to help people where they are in such situations. Thank you so much, Barrister Bakari. We'll be speaking with Barrister Bakari on the program Icon of Emulation. Do not forget the essence of this program is for us to bring forth to you, bring to your doorstep. High cons that you can identify the society and emulate what they do so that you can also be a better person, especially our youth in the society because we are the ambassadors of everywhere we go. We are the president of our country, our family. So when we do it well, we present our family, our country, we present it well. Our barista back on the lighter mode, how do you relax? your leisure time, how do you spend it, or is always reading, reading, going to court all the time? I am a sports enthusiast. I uh, play table tennis actively. I uh, watch football. I, um, I read. I read um, quite widely. I am also um, uh, a, a student of psychology. I like to understand uh, why people do the things that they do. Mm. So um, those are the things that I engage myself with. So the psychology can almost be like work, mm -hmm. but um, reading, yeah, I watch football. Uh, I also play table tennis. I belong to a sports club um, where we 
where we play actively two competitions both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria um, yeah so those are the things that I do to to relax I'd be correct to say maybe you're a fan of Manchester United Chelsea or Real Madrid no I, I support I support us now <laughs> I support us now, the pride of London <laughs> all right thank you so much before we go on the program uh, uh, Barista Bakari you have spoken a lot about the profession and other things what would you say are challenges that are being faced by the practitioner of this profession and that you will need the Nigerian Bar Association or even the Nigerian government to look into so that it can be addressed. Major challenges. Yes, the, um, one of the major challenges that I see is in uh, the, the young people wanting to be lawyers. Mm. The waiting time between becoming a lawyer and starting to earn money, we have said, we've spoken about it before, um, is becoming longer. And the the in, the newcomers into the profession are becoming less and less patient. Mm. So the period is becoming longer. The patience of the people who are coming in is becoming shorter. Okay. So somebody needs to be a bridge in that space. I know that the NBA has um, tried over the years to look at a way of um, getting a fair pay for lawyers when they enter uh, practice. Uh, the argument of the employers of uh, lawyers is that when people are coming in fresh into my office, they should actually be paying me because they don't know anything, they are coming to learn. Um, the argument of the lawyer is that, well, I am doing some of the things for you, I'm going to court, I'm doing this and that. So the MBA has been active in trying to find a balance. Uh, between those two, um, I know very well that uh, both sides can do better. The employers can do a lot better, and the incomers, the newcomers too, can do a lot better by becoming, uh, by being uh, a little bit more patient. Uh, to know that uh, the late gratification is the best gratification. It is better for you to uh, to learn and wait. Your time will come definitely. If you are not lazy. The legal profession is a very, very good one. People will need lawyers. People will always, always need lawyers. Um, people, not for trouble, because when we say people need lawyers, people, a lot of people think about people being in trouble. No, people are going to build houses, they are going to sell houses, they are going to rent houses, um, they are going to build roads, they are going to every aspect of uh, economic life you need uh, legal uh, uh, representation and advice and thereby lawyers will make their money so um, all that i will uh, so the, the you, you ask what the problems are yes. uh, another of the problems that i see is um, the relationship between the courts and lawyers it can be very frustrating to uh, to do the things that you need to do as a lawyer in court. Uh, for instance, you need to file. We have introduced e-filing, that is electronic filing, uh, over uh, a period of um, a period of years now, and you will expect that it has been, it should we should have been more proficient at it. But it can be um, the servers of the high courts can be down for one week. At least in this Lagos, we are trying to discourage as much as possible the use of paper filing. But that is not happening um, as much as we would like it to happen. Um, the um, the people who work in the court registry and all of that, the all the issues that are affecting Nigeria mm. affect the civil service. I mean the the the, the legal fair. profession. So uh, the issues of corruption. Uh, people wanting gratification before they do their work, uh, so all of that is, but to a very great extent I believe that uh, the Honorable Chief Justice of uh, Lagos State is doing his best, um, the Chief Justice of Nigeria is doing his best, the NBA, everybody is trying, but we can do more. Those are the problems that I see. Um, I believe that um, there are no problems that we cannot solve. But they are just a reflection of the entire society.
Alright. Alright, before we go on the program, the program is icon of emulation. And it will be very, very important that we have piece of advice from our icon that appears on the program on every episode. So Barista Bakari would like you to give your piece of advice to the youth generally how today those who want to go into legal profession or any other profession, the youth generally your piece of advice as a father, as a role model, as an icon of emulation. Well, um, my major advice, mm -hmm. and it has come up in the course of the interview, um, that the youth need to know what they want to do, know how to get to where they want to get to, know that there is no alternative to hard work. There is no alternative to hard work. Mm -hmm. If your parents leave you this room filled with US, do US dollars, if you do not strive well, if you do not work hard to keep that money, you will lose it. Mm. So um, my, my advice to them majorly will be patience, perseverance, determination, and hard work. Um, and then you need to also be close to your God. Um, be close to your God. Be close to your God. Uh, you see that I repeated that three times. Life is full of potholes everywhere. And those who have God um, find it easier to navigate those potholes. Um, like I say to people when we go to gatherings, the Christians will say it will never be our portion. I will say that in the Quran, in the hadith of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I have never seen anywhere where they promised us that we will not see adversity. Mm -hmm. All that we can do is to beg God to give us strength on the day the adversity comes, mm -hmm. to give us the strength to bear it. Um, so the, let that be your focus. Pray for strength, pray for ease when the adversity comes. Yes, you will lose people you will suffer disappointment it will come but let it not be a lot let um, Allah has promised us that he will not give us any burden that is beyond our capacity so when God is giving you this trial when he's giving you this um, um, situation he knows that you have the capacity to do it so begging for the strength to be able to bear your situation um, so uh, my Advice again would be for them to avoid social vices, avoid drugs. There is nothing good at the end of it. Um, avoid alcohol, avoid um, social media addiction. Mm. That is another one that is um, afflicting our young people. Um, a lot of people cannot do without their phone for 30 minutes. I, I watched a program on, uh, I think it was on YouTube, where people were tested to be without their phone. And you could see people being in a panic. Hmm. Various levels. Some people, by the time it is 15 minutes without their phone, they are already fidgeting. Some people get up to one hour. But of all the people tested, there wasn't anybody who was able to persevere more than two hours. And that is a big problem. Um, some of the phone, some of the phone companies uh, put mechanisms on the phone to allow you to monitor your usage. So please monitor your usage. If you see that you are using your phone too much, have a phone dead time every day. Put your phone off or put it in silent mode. Do not touch it for two hours. Nothing will happen. Everybody that calls you, you can call them back. Switch off social media. If Maybe one day in a week, don't do any social media. Don't go there. Except if your business depend on it, depends on it. Or if your business does not depend on it. <laughs> if your business does not depend on it, you can be off social media for one day in a week. Um, those are the, the, the thieves of time of these days. And you need all your time to do all the things that will make you progress in this life. And will lead you to Jannah. Okay. Things that will lead you to Jannah. I'm taking from Barista Bakari's word. Things that will lead you to Jannah. That means things that will lead you to paradise, which is very, very paramount. It is with that we call it today on the program Icon of Emulation. We're so glad you are there watching us. We're so thankful to Barista Bakari for being on the program today, for sharing your wealth of knowledge with us, and for encouraging the youth 
to be who they have know who you want to be know what you want to achieve and go that way through the guidance of your creator because he is the one that has created us and he has every answer to all whatever question we have so thank you so much for tuning in for today do not forget to share our program love all our programs share it and also subscribe on our youtube page thank you so much for being part of today's program let's meet next week on another episode of the program we will be bringing another icon of emulation for you yes you are used out there because we know these things will make you to choose rightly so we come your way another time my name is fauzia salakotoni thanks to my producer and my cameraman behind the scene i'm um, within Yunus. thank you so much see you next time on the program icon of emulation from king media